everybody. I hope you see me. Okay. Uh, my name is Marcian Petrescu. I'm from Romania, uh, Eastern Europe. Uh, I'm here in my uh, in my flat uh, in uh, in uh, Bucharest, and I'm uh, gonna uh, show you something very interesting. Uh, I promised you on Facebook that I'm gonna make a video about uh, uh, a very handy paddle, um, Voodoo Amp Feedback uh, Nullifier, uh, made by Simon Bock from uh, Holland. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you uh, with some close-ups what I have here on, uh, on, on my amp, what kind of amp I'm using to demonstrate the, 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 this pedal, and also uh, uh, we're going to test each of, each of uh, these uh, six, uh, five microphones uh, with and without uh, the uh, action of, of the pedal, of the Voodoo uh, pedal, anti-feedback pedal. But first of all I'm going to take the, the video camera and I'm going to show you some close-ups of what I have, ex what exactly I have here. So, I take the camera and uh, let's, let's see what we have here. Well, first of all, the amp. The amp is a Fender Super 60 and you can see the, the controls. The volume is around 4, the treble is on 6, the mids are around 2, the bass at 7, I have the reverb, uh, the internal reverb uh, tank, the uh, Ecotronics reverb tank uh, set on 2 and the presence uh, a little bit uh, after 5. Uh, basically, basically, so and I'm not using this uh, this control here, this uh, gain overdrive uh, overdrive stage. I'm not using this overdrive stage. So this uh, Fender Super 60 is a full tube amp, three uh, preamp tubes in the in the preamp section and uh, two 6L6 tubes in the <coughs> power section. But what do we have here? Here we have uh, first of all, I'm going to use a Marine Band. Uh, Deluxe uh, uh, harmonica in uh, in the KFC, and you see here two uh, preamp tubes. I uh, put them here because uh, I have to explain you something. Those two preamp tubes I uh, are use I'm using them uh, uh, usually when I'm uh, using this amp in conjunction with my uh, with my uh, special uh, sound system pedal board. Basically, uh, I put uh, the 1287 ECC81, 1287 in V1, and the uh, 5751, 5751 in uh, in V2. I hope you you manage to see that. I'm not uh, I'm not very very um, uh, handy with uh, maneuvering this this uh, video camera, but you you're gonna understand the idea. So basically, this amp. Uh, came out from the factory with two 12AX7 uh, tubes in uh, in V1 and V2, and there's another 1287 uh, tube for the reverb. So, right now the the amp has the original preamp tube layout: two two 12AX7 uh, and one uh, 87 preamp 1287 preamp tube for the reverb. So basically, this is the setup. Uh, of the uh, amp as uh, it came out from the factory. So basically it's a normal guitar amp with a, a high gain preamp uh, stage uh, with the uh, um, normal uh, uh, preamp tubes uh, gain a factor of 100 12 x 7 tubes in the preamp stage. So we have here as you can see five different microphones. This one here is a Shure 545, uh, modified by me. It's basically a, a dynamic uh, microphone with high impedance. This one is a, is an electro voice microphone, also dynamic element, high impedance output. This is a ceramic microphone in the shell of a Shure uh, uh, Green Bullet. This is a crystal microphone, a JT30 crystal microphone, very hot. And this one here is the hottest microphone I have with a, a, a huge output and a very, very interesting frequency spectrum. This is a, a, a Shure uh, 5, uh, 
520 so something like that yeah you can see it's uh, the case is from a, a low impedance uh, version but inside there is a control magnetic element uh, extremely powerful with a very powerful output so we're going to test all these uh, all these uh, microphones with and without the the aid of this pedal here so this is the voodoo amp feedback nullifier made by Simon Bullock from Simon Bullock from uh, from Holland so the switch is on feedback ki uh, killer the gain it's around 11 o'clock right now uh, I think the the pedal is uh, is on it doesn't have a, a LED uh, LED uh, um, bulb somewhere here to, to, to see exactly because this is a passive pedal so I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the camera back and uh, I'm gonna show you exactly what is happening with all these five microphones with and without the the feedback anti-feedback pedal okay so first of all we're going to test this microphone the Shure 545 high impedance dynamic first of all the pedal is disengaged sorry so this is feedback because right now the pedal is off I'm going okay feedback again no feedback let's play a little bit with the pedal on much hotter than this Shure 545 I can open the, the volume on the microphone I engage the pedal there is a little bit of uh, feedback residue because I'm, I'm, I'm staying close to the amp 20 centimeters or something like that half a foot. So I'm going to move away from the amp and let's see what happened. <laughs> As I told you the the output of this microphone is very powerful so you can choose to low a little bit to lower a little bit the the gain control here so right now the gain control is around I don't know 10 o'clock <laughs> Let's say around uh, one o'clock. It's a little bit 
different the character of the sound. So I put it back around 10 o'clock. The sound of the microphone is not changing so drastically. So it's okay to let it, let's say, around 11 o'clock. So without the, the pedal, with the pedal on, you can work it out. Okay, the next microphone is this ceramic microphone. Inside there is an element of, uh, I think it's a, an old aesthetic or an, maybe an old turner microphone for the uh, radio communication. It's a smaller diameter element, but it sounds very interesting. Without? With the pedal on, I raise the gain at 12, and I right now I can even raise the volume, let's say at 6, but I have to move away from the amp. If I put the volume on 5 and I let the, the gain on the pedal at 11, same thing, I move away from the amp. again and switch the microphone. Well, right now I have a, an aesthetic JT30 with a very powerful and crispy crystal element and it's very powerful also. Disengage the pedal, feedback. And the volume is, uh, let's start with volume uh, on amp at 4. Without six and move away from the amp. Without feedback. So this uh, this this ceramic is uh, it's uh, has a very crispy um, uh, character. A lot of uh, mid highs, but it's very good because it's cut to the mix. So, in conjunction with such a pedal, and uh, also you can dial, uh, you can fool around a little bit with the with the treble mid and the bass or controls on the amp. Also with the presence, you can uh, you can find a way to uh, to to work with this uh, with this uh, with a, such a microphone with an amp with the preamp tubes set normally for the uh, for the guitar with uh, one or two or maybe three 12 AX7 uh, preamp tubes. And right now is the beast. I'm calling this microphone the beast because it's very very powerful. So check this out. I'm sitting next to the amp, the pedal is off and I can play even if I move away from the amp. Okay, I put the pedal on. It's a big difference. You can lower also a little bit the gain. Let's say at, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe 9 o'clock. And it's, it does the trick. And also, sometimes you can put the, uh, the, um, the gain at let's say at seven o'clock. It's it's too low. You can raise a little bit. And sometimes, in this situation, you can raise a little bit the volume if you want.
but in this situation when you have such a powerful microphone it's not a, bit, a good idea to, to raise the volume. You can find uh, to, it's a good idea to, to set the volume on the amp a little lower and work out with the, with the pedal. So I put the gain on the pedal, let's say 11 o'clock and I give it another test. <laughs> For example, I can lower the, the treble on 4. Let's see what's happening. Also, as I told you, you can fool around with the EQ section on the amp. Not bad at all. I can took out the, the mid frequencies. And also, let's say I can put the presence at 4. such a test. You have all sorts of weird uh, weird uh, sound frequencies, stationary sound frequencies. So, but it's a big difference. With pedal disengaged, there is feedback. With pedal on, volume at 4, treble let's say at 4, with the pedal on, a lot what kind of amplifier you have. If you have a very powerful microphone in conjunction with this pedal but with a, with a normal guitar amp, uh, it is possible to find this, the sweet spot and to be able to manage. If you don't have your amp and you are in the, in the situation where you uh, go to a gig and uh, you are uh, forced to use uh, any amp, any available amp on stage. I don't know. Uh, as Simon used to say on Facebook, Simon Bullock, this pedal is not the ultimate answer. It will help you, but it will not eliminate completely the feedback. You have to dial it a little bit to find the sweet spot. And if you have different microphones with different types of outputs and uh, different uh, uh, elements inside, you'll be able to find the proper sound for you. So that's why. Uh, in my humble opinion, it's better to have at least two or three microphones, different microphones, to find uh, the best combination with a, an ordinary guitar amp, tube guitar amp. But this pedal, I gotta tell you, is doing the trick. Without the pedal? So with, with, a ceramic, with a crystal microphone like this, I can raise, right now I can raise a little bit the gain on the, on the pedal, I can raise a little bit the treble, and also I can raise the little, a little bit the volume, let's say, uh, uh, not at 4, at 6, but I have to move away from the amp because basically nobody is playing next to the amp. Let's give it a try. <coughs> important aspect. This pedal is not the ultimate answer, is not the holy grail, it will not eliminate all the problems with feedback if, if, and pay attention, if you have a band that is playing loud as hell. 
um, a big importance is getting in getting a good harmonica, amplified harmonica sound, and uh, to feel comfortable on stage, and to play with subtleties and uh, all sorts of nuances and all sorts of uh, uh, fine touches uh, in a solo, and even in the in the backing uh, backing uh, uh, parts. Uh, uh, when, you are, when you are backing uh, mm -hmm. uh, an, uh, uh, a singer, let's say, it's very important to have a band that knows how to use the dynamics on stage. To play dynamically, to play with nuances, to not to play loud as hell from the start to the end of the show. Otherwise, I don't know, maybe to you can use, I don't know, one or two or three, maybe or four anti-feedback devices combined. And maybe, maybe in that situation you'll be able to eliminate completely the feedback, but I don't know, to be honest, I don't know what kind of sound you'll get in the end. So, this pedal is very effective. It's very effective. Uh, I know many of you guys are not very, very found, uh, not very pleased about this, this, this model of, uh, our model, Fender Super 60. I don't know, maybe uh, with other amps, this pedal uh, will, will give you uh, much better results. Maybe with the Fender Bassman reissue. I don't know, maybe with the Fender DeVille, uh, with the Fender Super 60, uh, with the Fender Su uh, 65 Reverb, I don't know. Maybe in a, in a configuration with four 10-inch speakers, I don't know. In this situation, I'm able to to work uh, to work it out with the with the combination of microphones I'm using, and with the pedal uh, with this pedal of Voodoo uh, anti feedback modifier, uh, I can work it out. So I'm pretty sure if I took this pedal and those two cables uh, and one or two or three microphones uh, in my collection and, and took I, I will took them to, uh, take them to a gig, uh, I manage in the end. To find a proper sound using a normal, an ordinary uh, tube guitar amplifier. So this is the this is the video I uh, I made for you. I hope it's uh, it's okay. So once again, I recommend this pedal uh, because it will help you out there if you are on the road and you can. Uh, you, you are not able to, uh, to to bring your amplifier that it may be um, uh, tweaked and uh, and uh, prepared for uh, especially for harmonica for playing amplifier harmonica. So Voodoo uh, AMP feedback uh, amp feedback unifier from Simon Bullock from uh, Holland. It's a it's a pedal that is to do, it will do the trick. But once again, as the as the as the the, the manufacturer uh, uh, said on Facebook is not the holy grail, is not the ultimate answer. It will help you, but also you have to be careful and uh, also, if, if it's possible, to play with a band that knows how to play dynamically and how to, to play with uh, subtleties, with nuances, and to be able together to create a good sound on stage. Otherwise, if you have, once again I tell you, if you have a band that is playing loud as hell, even the most advanced um, anti-feedback device will not help you in the end. So I hope you like my, my video. Uh, I'm going to play a few, few, few licks for the end, uh, staying next to the amp to see the effectiveness of, of the pedal. <laughs>